Hey guys and welcome to an early look at Small Land Survive the Wilds. Uh, this game is a new entry in the survival genre. And let me give you the highlights of the game to start with. The developers merge games and thank you very much for giving me access to an early copy of the game as well. And um, this is on PC I'm playing. It will come to early access on the 29th of March in three days, two days, whatever date is today, uh, the 29th. <laughs> so about two days. Is today the 27th? Yes, so two days. It's a survival multiplayer game. Um, so you can play it single player, but you also can play it multiplayer. So you can play it uh, as one person locally, up to 10 people online. Um, as far as I understand, you create your own server like you do with your own games. Like so you go to a menu uh, and create your own server and then you have people join your friends or whatever. So it can be uh, up to 10 people. You put a password on it and that's it. Um, survive as one race of tiny people in a vast hazardous world. Biomes. Explore stunning biomes as small folk uh, traversing lake-sized puddles and skyscraper-sized trees from the oak forest to the car park and the sewers. Craft powerful armor sets to personalize your appearance and grant you resistance from the ele elements along with the abilities needed to survive. Tame and ride wild creatures from damselflies to spiders, each mount providing a unique means of travel. The world and its inhabitants are yours to conquer. Build, decorate, and fortify your encampment on the ground or in the canopy. Claim great trees and scavenge resources to refine and craft materials. Now, after just reading that, I'm already kind of hooked. This is my type of game. And um, again, go to the Steam page. You can wishlist it now or just make sure you bookmark it and it's coming out on the 29th of March. And we are going to have an early look at the game today. I was wondering if you was gonna play this game. Um, I actually, uh, it's one of the games that I put extremely early on my wishlist. I made very sure that I kind of follow when it's planned to come out, but I didn't want to spoil myself. So I didn't actually, I don't usually join discords because um, I don't want to see really too much of the game. And I avoided a lot of videos talking about things uh, uh, that are in, on, in the works on the game because I just wanted to see it for myself for the first time. I have not played it yet. So everything you see here is we're going to do it together for the first time. Um, have you finally get a chance to see the game? It's been all my wishes for so long. Same here, uh, Frizian, absolutely. Doma, how are you? HD, Peter, welcome to the stream. And Jeff, how are you? No zombies, Jeff, I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, let's hope everything works out well. Like I said, I haven't even play tested it. I just um, had to work late today. So, actually, what am I doing? There we go. Okay. So, we actually, wow, we actually have a character creator. Okay. They look kind of the same. <laughs> um, we can have different types of... Oh, we can zoom in. That's great. So female regular, female gentle, female strong, male regular, male gentle, male strong. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to go with the regular. Um, let me see. Female regular. I'm going to go with uh, the male regular, I think. Male gentle. There we go. Like that. Um, ears, let's see. Oh, can do the different type of pointies. Okay, so what type of race are we? I actually don't even know what we're called. What type of um, creature we are. Uh, like a wood elf. I mean, it looks like we got something going on with antennas. So we're definitely some kind of insect human breed, I guess. Humanoid breed. Yeah, that looks pretty badass. Um, eyebrows, stylish. Of course, stylish. Nah, stylish, totally. Needs an epic beard, yes. We have the full beard. Well, that's that's not really a full beard. It's a sideburns always. Mustache. Where's the full, full beard? I mean, I'm, I'm sorry for anyone who would consider this a full beard. Where's the rest of your beard? <laughs> Where are the other three inches? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we, we're gonna have to go with um, That's actually I used to I used to do that for a while my wife wasn't a big fan and I used to have the goatee for a while she wasn't a big fan and then I had the goatee without a, a stash I don't know what you call that actually. I have no idea what that's called. It's like this 
but only the goatee part. Which I still kind of like. So, um, oh yeah, absolutely. Hide your children. No, okay, I'm sorry. So, um, let's, <laughs> let's go with the full beard. And, um, ooh, nice. Silver. There's the wisdom already beaming out of this person. Fire. Orange, woodland, and rose. I think I'm gonna go with um, brown. Or oh, hazelnut. Actually, I'm gonna go with hazelnut. Um, Kenny, how are you? Brown full so full beard. For that race, that is probably the most hair they grow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I have more hair on, on one of my chest sides like than he has on his whole body. Um, including the face and his head. So what do we have? Antennae. Oh. Geniculate clave. Okay, I'm not even gonna pronounce any of this. Okay, I will just absolutely butcher it. But oh, this one looks kind of nice. They look like those scary lights from the fish that chase you down in the in the in the dark depths of the water. Actually, this one looks kind of nice. Now I think this one is like manly. This one is kind of youth. You know, this one is dominance. Um, it has to be red. It has to be red. Silver like mine was a dash of black. Yeah, an anglerfish. That's exactly, that's what I was looking for, an anglerfish. Okay, hair. Medium hair. Oh, look at that. Fly. I can only wish I would have hair like this. I used to have hair like that only down to my back. Yes, believe it or not, I was bad in, uh, like into, into metal. Not, not into heavy, heavy metal, but I was mad into metal at some point. And then I changed into trance and techno and the love parade and my hair became shorter and shorter. So I think, yeah, I mean, this, this is absolutely, woo, yeah. yeah. We could go for a fine haircut. I think that this looks nice. We look like fine. And hair color, let's go with hazelnut as well. Or we could go with wisdom, ash. Actually, I'm gonna change my beard to ash as well. No, that's too that's too bright. Hair color. Go back to hazelnut. I like actually the depths you have on this. This is amazing. So you have the eyes blank and <laughs> blank. Common, oh, just common eyes. Oh wow, triangle eyes. Cut eyes. Are you kidding me? That's nice. Ooh, remophilia. What is that? Rom romboidal double pupil oh that is so freaky <laughs> you're having a good time last night your eyes your pupils are still dilated yeah we definitely need to have smaller um yeah that's pretty badass i like that gold eyes ruby red yes you can trust me come to the dark side oh yeah baby that is awesome Skin color, fair, pale, fair, chestnut, warm, nightfall. Oh, we can go completely crazy color as well. Okay. That is awesome. I'm going to go with that. Either that or nightfall. Yeah, I think nightfall brings our eyes out. <laughs> His nickname is 420. <laughs> Ghostly. No, I think Nightfall uh, really makes my eyes pop. Face marking. Vigorous. Okay. Righteous. Dividend. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go with that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Confirm. I'm only going through all of these so you can see it because you, you don't play the game yet. So this is if I want to play online. Oh, okay, so I taught you only have to do that if you are... Okay, so online. The game will be available online. Um, for other players. Can I not um, do a new world? Let me see. Uh, or an empty world or something. How do you do a non... Password. Oh, you can see the password. Well, that isn't very clever. It's good for me, but not good for you. So we're going to have to... Um, Make sure you cannot see what I'm typing. There you go. So we're gonna go online and we're gonna have a password on it. 
and friendly fire turned off peaceful mode turned off okay and start world name i'm gonna, gonna come back with the screen in a minute for some reason it shows my password so um i have to have some kind of cut back soon stream <laughs> so screen i have to do that world name um kickstopia because that is what it is okay here we go we're loading in and we're back it doesn't really matter, I guess. It's just like, you know, uh, other people might be seeing like games that are currently being played. And I'm sure everybody who's playing right now is probably streaming or recording videos. So you don't want people to like pop into your games. Ooh, intrepid vanguards. Your queen is ill. Oh, we're called vanguards. Okay. This is why is your king. I'm asking for your help. Venture into the overland and seek out a cure. Whatever the cost, be bold, be brave, remain vigilant. From King Valdemar's speech to the vanguard corpse. Oh, look at that! So it's it's like it's the same as the forest kind of uh, in the in the in the sense that you ha you're on an urgent mission. The queen is dying, but let's take six months to a year to build a base and to find fight the creatures in the woods. No rush. <laughs> I wonder if we'll be hearing those manly war cries. I hope not. I mean, this this looks like a friendly game. Okay. Okay. So we're loading in. I guess we're still loading in. Okay. Actually, I uh, I have everything set to ultra right now. Yeah. So um, what I might actually do is um, few distance. I don't know. We'll see how my FPS will be doing. Um, this was default. I didn't actually set that to that. So um, what is that? DOF, depth of field. Oh, is that what we want? We want that low? So we can actually see. Okay. Actually, it, it is fine. It's not choppy or anything. So, okay. I have an older system now. So, okay. What do we have? F interact, F hold to pick up, left shift sprint, and jump. <sighs> We have a kind of a slow-mo jump. It's like the, what is it? The Matrix jump. I love it. And then we have a crouch. And then we have dodge. Pow. Oh. I don't like it. Hey, how are you? Sentinel Virgil. I've been tasked with meeting all vanguards before they leave the boroughs, as I have crucial information to impart. So there's kind of a narrative, actually, to the game, which I like. And then you can do your base building and stuff like that and just forget you're playing the narrative. <laughs> She'll be fine, exactly, yeah. Um, v gives you a vision. Oh, nice, cool, thank you. Um... Keep a keen eye trained for these owl effigies. They are scattered throughout the area. Provide useful hints and tips. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Outside, uh, you'll find Captain Hearn. He will help you first day outside the boroughs. Okay, let's go. And I suppose to F you. Harvesting the overland is rich with natural resources and food. And some can only be harvested with the correct tool. You can craft different tools to harvest natural resources. Some resources can only be harvested with specific type of tools. So we should learn the best tool for the job. Press V to engage the antenna mode. I love it. And because I have the biggest, baddest antennas, my vision mode. Oh, look at that. Ooh, Twix, gather, bam. Oh, I'm already winning the game. Hang on, how do I get out? Oh yeah, press V again. Okay, where do that stuff... Ah, we have an inventory. There we go. Simple bandages. Wood club and mushroom steak. And where do... Uh, is, is that simple bandages? Is that what we pick up from the plant fiber? And the sticks, I guess, are... Um, these things here. No, that's a wooden club. Oh, can we move it into... Yes. Nice. I now have a wooden club. And we move that to here, the bandages. And what is this? This is food. Okay. Nice. The Overland is rich natural resources. Oh, did I already write that? I'm going backwards. Oh, I have to pick it up as well. I just chopped it and now I have to pick it up. I get you. 
So now I actually have the resources that I picked up. <laughs> I was like chopping it all down. Okay, there's nothing we can do with that. Let's pick up all the wood here. What is that? Fire arrows at a workbench. Craft a workbench. Oh, I love it. We already get into crafting workbenches and all that. So here's our crafting screen. A wood hatchet is fiber and wood. A wood club is just wood. A builder hammer. So what do we need wood club for? It's for attacking. A simple hatchet for harvesting less hardy resources from the world. Uh, all builders need this tool, whether you're making a home for, or constructing a workshop. This hammer is a must. Equip it to start building. Oh, okay. So it's like your magic wand. You equip it and then you can build. Torch, resin and wood, and a firefly torch. Firefly juice, insect fat. I know they call it firefly juice, but I like to uh, say it's the blood of the brutally murdered fireflies. I mean, if we're honest. Or the skin of the brutally slaughtered insects. It's still on the ground. Yeah, thank you, Mike. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you hold the button... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we try that out as well. Okay, so let's uh, keep going. And if I press... Ah, yeah. I see. If I hold F, it collects everything. Thank you so much. That's actually great. Uh... Oh, okay. Can we go into the water? Oh, okay. The game is protecting me from being a dumbass. Uh, I'm already trying to drown myself. Um, what do we have here? When you examine an owl effigy, it reveals useful piece of advice. This info is automatically locked in your compendium, which you can access at any time from the inventory menu. Press tab to open the inventory and select the compendium section to see. Okay, so press tab. Compendium. There we go. The king's speech, the the F the F to effigies. And then, oh, we have a map here. Um, oh, if this is the whole map, that is quite a big map. That is huge. And we're only here. So we have Hearn here, and this is where we spawned. Okay, I guess. Or this is our spawn if we die. And we can put our own markers on it. Oh, sweet. We can actually put multiple. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so um, before I have to undo them all one by one. So that's actually pretty neat as well. And then we have a codex here. Craft a builder's hammer to unlock your first crafting station. Hearn. Padded bracers. Oh, look at that. Nice. So we need to collect loads of fire. And then campfire workbenches. Oh, this is nice. So this is like kind of your recipe screen or something like that. Okay. Let's get closer to outside. Press tab to open the inventory. Codex, the workstation items you can craft each. You can also check which armor sets can be crafted by which small folks. So I can't craft the armor set. I have to ask them to craft it. Well, he better be ready for all my resources and craft me what I need. Soak up all that stuff. F it. <laughs> Every game wants you to always F everything. Look, F, gather, F, gather. The Boros is an extension network of underground tunnels and caverns that is home to the small folk. So that's what we're called. We are the small folk. Origin Viper, evening cakes. Hope you're doing well. Evening stream. Yes, thank you so much. And welcome to the stream. Avoid the water kills you. Oh, it's Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. Uh, PTSD. So in small land, we cannot swim, I guess. Okay. I mean, if there's no limits to the inventory, I will be picking up everything. Oh, hey, guys. What is this? Don't mind if I do. Thank you. My wife can make a mean pixie omelette. Okay, where's your wife? Because I could do with a pixie omelette. Food at the root barracks has become pretty stale lately. Lucky my sister brought me some fresh insect eggs this morning. Whoopsie. Um, you mean these insect eggs? Nourishment six. Can feed creature. I can't wait to get into that whole creature thing. I, I wonder if you can just tame them. Or if you can also breed them from eggs or something. That would be amazing. Oh, we have a heavy attack as well. Okay. We have a light attack. And we have a block. Ooh, block. And everything takes stamina. This is like Dark Souls. Awesome. You can't dodge roll while you're defending. So you can't dodge roll. Okay. Hey, Puff, how are you? All you need to, spe to speedy repair is a good hammer. Yeah. Actually, it reminds me. You should probably build one. 
So let's, uh, yeah, do the wooden hatchet, I guess. And the building hammer, if you can. We don't have enough wood. I mean, the hatchet is what we need to get more wood, I guess. So let's uh, put that here. Make sure to search the owl effigies. Yes, I am. Thank you. Oh, can I take all that? Can I stand in fire? No. Can I stand on the candle? No. Water! Character saved. Yeah, water is fine. See? Oh, nice. So how does saving work? Can we actually save intentionally? No. So basically it seems that every time you play, you have a server. You create a server. There's no other... There's um, the server is created locally, I guess, on your PC. And if you ask your friends to join, they connect to your PC. I suppose it's a safe connection to the uh, game host that you created. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, nice. There's a big effigy owl to F. Um, what do you have here? Captain Hearn is stationed downhill from here. You should go and introduce yourself. Poor Pixie's getting turned into omelets. Yeah, I think that's exactly what he meant. You can lose health due to a variety of factors. Being attacked by hostile creatures, extreme temperatures, falling from great height, or being malnourished. On the bright side, you can recover health by using healing items, keeping yourself well nourished or sleeping. Sprinting, sliding, dodging, jumping, attacking, and blocking all consume stamina. Pay attention when it becomes low and manage it carefully to not leave yourself vulnerable. Okay, that is awesome. Oh, there's so many resources I missed. Wow, I'm gonna have to walk around like that the whole time because I will just absolutely miss everything. I kind of like it though that it looks like natural, that it's not all highlighted and you kind of have to get used to what it looks like. Okay, can I chop this down? Is that like a tree kind of thing? No, okay, it's not. Yeah, that's actually pretty sweet that you have to pay attention. <laughs> Oh, I thought there was something glow and it was just a trick of the light. So now I can also craft a the builder hammer and a torch. So torch and the builder hammer. Unlocked. Press tab to open the codex. So now we unlocked the campfire. Let me see. So we'll probably see some recipes now popping up there. Yeah, look at that. The campfire. We can now uh, grilled grasshopper legs. No, the legs of a maliciously murdered grasshopper that you tore out of his body while he was still alive. That that has to be in your mind when you eat something cute like grilled grasshopper legs. Okay. It's not cute. <laughs> um, a crude hatchet. Okay, so this is like the next up. We need a chitin or chitin. Uh, you can fight over it in the comments. Um, wood arrows. Ladybug travel kit. Okay, that actually comes from non-animal harvestables. Okay. Press M to open the world map. See your position on the overland. Yeah, okay. Great. So we're nearly there at Hearn. Oh, I keep po walking past all those resources.
Hey Azamin, how are you? You have been keeping an eye on this game. You enjoying it? Well, we just started. Um, it feels nice so far. It seems to be a bit more complex than I thought uh, with the crafting and stuff, which is nice. And survival as well. So you have hunger, of course, you have thirst, you have, uh, but temperature as well and all that. So th this is going to be interesting. I see my thirst going down rather rapidly on the bottom left. Here's Herney. Oh, yes, thank you. Everybody has the lunch out and I'm taking it all. Oh, we can actually zoom into first person. Oh, okay. So if that's your jam, you can uh, totally play like that. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, small focal resource for people, tools, weapons, food, chronographing materials in the overland. Find crafting recipes to learn how to craft new items. Typically, you will need a crafting station to craft new items, but every vanguard knows how to craft some basic tools and weapons without a workbench. Okay, crafting menu shortcut is G. Yeah, we already did all that already. Yeah, we already did it already. Armor provides protection. Oh, hang on. Armor provides protection against different types of damage and also can keep you warm and cold uh, in cold weather. Some settlers in the overland have the expertise to make new sets of armor for you, provided you give them the required materials. Make sure to eat and drink. Yeah, I picked up some food there. I just found on the floor, I guess. Um, nourishment eight. Okay, so nourishment. I thought it was drink, so that's nourishment. Okay, so let's eat that. And use right click. Okay. Insect eggs. As the old small folk adage goes, an insect egg a day keeps the ap apothecary away. Only found on female insects. Oh, wow. Okay. And this one gives 30. Blocks nourishment loss for 180 seconds. So a mushroom steak, we can eat and we get 30 and it blocks loss. That is awesome. What does the torch look like? Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, I can't hit with the torch. So the torch cannot be used as a weapon. If you want a weapon at the same time, you have to take it out. Okay. Greetings, Vanguard. Welcome to the Overland. I'm Captain Ernest Manikabi. Uh, just Herney is fine, I guess. Uh, but most small for call me Herney. What can I do for you? Can I ask you some questions? Sure. What do you want to know? What's the Overland? Where are we? The Overland is what we call the world on the surface. Well, hence Overland, I guess. A very dangerous place. You will uh, place here for um, you won't find all the comforts of the borough. You have to fight food. Okay. Yeah. You have this on your wish list. It looks interesting. And you aren't a child. Cool. Yes, that's the thing. You aren't a child. Um, I re but okay, all joking aside, I really uh, like Grounded as well. And I had a good time with it. But um, uh, there was other games I was playing like so. But this again, it's it's kind of, it's, it's different. Yeah, but you're small, not because of some weird scientist thing. That is just the way you are. You are... Uh, from small land or whatever they're called small small people like yeah and that's just what you are and um, they have like antennae and all that so they are wood creatures it's kind of like they have their lore like whatever so which tools should i craft a wooden club building we already did all that yeah how do i build myself a shelter first you need to craft a builder hammer and then you, need to, you know what we figure that out and um, where can i find food that's a good one Mushrooms and wild strawberries can be found right here in this very forest if you know where to look. You can also hunt the creatures of the woods. Some of them can be very tasty. Creatures, yuck. <laughs> build a campfire. Yeah, build a... Okay, that's fine. There's something else I would like to ask before I go. Could you craft some armor for me? Okay, sure. I would like you to craft some armor for me, please. Look at that. Oh, nice. So this one gives us cold protection. Is there anything for heat? Movement speed. Ooh, movement speed. And general protection. So what's the weather like in the moment? So if we're looking, the weather is comfortable. 
So we don't really have to worry about uh, weather. So let's uh, go to him for crafting, I guess. Um, oh no, hang on a second. Crafting is C, is it? Oh no. Oh, I see. So C, crafting, F. Awesome. So you have a shortcut, you don't have to talk to him if you don't want to. So I think we should take that because that is movement speed and protection. It's always neat. There we go. And then we put it on our person. Excellent. And can I do something with this? Can I sell it or, well, sell it. I don't know, there's no currency or can I scrap it? Okay, let's leave this on and that's all we can craft for now. Okay, so let's talk to you again and tell you that we have a mission. I was told to report here. Ah, yes, I've been expecting you. The elder Ludwig has requested your presence. Go see him at once. He's staying in the cave just down the hill. Excellent. So now we can see the elder. Did you get to design his character? Yes, I, I actually... Hi, Jen, how are you? I got to play around... Um, Uh, I got to play around with the character creation, yes. So we were able to make our own character. So we made him look like as evil as possible. Um, that was me. That's my fault. Not the game. Oh, it's already dark. Oh, there's a mushroom. Okay. Let's follow the path, I guess. And soak up more resources. Oh, can we go up there? Okay. Where do we have to actually go? We have to go over there. I guess highlighting him, will that show it on the radar? Yeah, there, on the radar. That is awesome. But what's up here? Oh, that's just a shortcut to go back where we came from. Oh, okay. I was really excited there for a second. Thought I found a secret. Stay away from deep water. Small folk, small folk, that's what we're called. Small folk can't swim. Upon death, you will respawn at your activated bed or spawn location. A tombstone will appear where you died. You must travel back to it to reclaim your inventory. Oh, wow. So let's see if we can. Is it better to play this in first person? Uh, let's try. Let's see. I mean, I like that you have the choice. Yeah, and uh, most of the time I find in these games that... I like first person for a lot of things and just some other things like combat I usually prefer in third person. And uh, nope. No touchies. Temperature will generally drop at night and raise in the afternoon. Also some creatures of the overland are nocturnal and will only come out at night. Well, Watch out as night creatures are usually more dangerous than their daytime counterparts. Build a bed to set a new spawn point and to have a place to sleep. Okay, how do we actually build a bed? So let's let's use our hammer. And oh, look, as soon as we access the hammer, um, open placement options. Snapping on off. Oh, this is cool. Right click structures. Simple chest, simple bed. So if I make a bed... Ah! What happened? My torch broke. Genie Max give me a heart attack. So I can't... Oh, there. I can build right here. Oh, that is awesome. So we can actually uh, test jumping in the lake. Okay. Activate spawn point. Kicks a simple bed. Geronimo! Oh, he uh, he can't swim. He can't swim. So if our tombstone goes there, how are we going to get our tombstone? Let's hope it's at the edge of the bed. Uh, at the edge of the water. Yes. Oh, this is awesome. This is a massive tombstone. I love it. And we get all our stuff back. Let me see. Oh, my God. I love it. Not only do we get our stuff back, and this is what annoys me about so many games. It actually puts everything back where it was. I don't have to go and... Ah, oh, this is brilliant. I love that. Hey, Fate, how are you?
it puts it back. Yeah, exactly. I love this so much. This is such a quality of light because can you imagine you're chased, you're going back to your tombstone, you go back and then you have to go. Oh, okay. I have to put this there. I need my weapon. Where the hell is my weapon? Oh my God, I can't find my weapon. It's like, I, I love this. This is such a nice quality of life. Can we move our bed? We can dismantle it or repair it. It is not sheltered. Okay, we're going to leave this here just in case I die. I'm going to suck up everything else. Oh, what is there? More wood. Um, we need another torch, if possible. Oh, and it put the torch back in. Another sexy quality of life, okay? Now, obviously, uh, I tried that already. I pressed one first to see, will it craft it? If I, if I had it equipped there and it's gone, um, it doesn't do that. So which game did it? Um, uh, uh, Ark, I think, did that. So, um, yeah, so far it feels really nice. Like, um, again, I have a bit of an older machine so at this stage. So if there's any starters, I'm play uh, it by default, it put all the settings on Ultra. So you, you have the choice to lower it a bit, of course. What do we have here? I'm so not following the directions I have to go right now. I'm just doing my own thing here. And I probably should have my weapon attached, actually. Yeah, out. Oh. I heard something. Oh. Demolish that. No. Okay, here's the elder. We don't need the torch now. Nice. Do you have anything to loot? Let's see, before we talk to you, make sure we loot everything. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's talk to you. Ah, uh, look, he already has the cup of tea on. I love it. Vanguard, finally you're here. Elder, what are you doing in this overgrown cave? The jeweled clover key that unlocks the apo apo apothecary has gone missing. I fear it may have been stolen. We're here trying to find some other means of opening the chest. Who is the, who is the apothecary? Melka was the royal family personal apothecary. This cave we're standing in was his personal laboratory here in Overland. He would spend countless days searching the overland for rare ingredients to use in his potions. What's in the chest? Melka the Apothecary created his achievement, the Elixir of Life. He claimed it could heal any ailment known to small folk. Do you have any idea who might have taken the Clover Key? The key was locked in the Royal Vault, which is always under heavy guard. Only the King and I are allowed to entry. So it was you, obviously, already admitted. Guilty punishment. The theft was noticed when the Queen became ill and the Clover Key was needed, but it could have happened some time ago we tried forcing the chest we dare not the chest is heavily reinforced and we would risk destroying the elixir within hd thank you so much um for stopping by well enjoy the stream guys catch it tomorrow well again thank you so much for popping in and look at that we already nearly had 50 likes thank you so much guys if you leave a like before you leave that would be very much appreciated or you can leave one right now I was told you requested my presence, Elder. Yes, we received troubling reports. It seems as though some of the creatures in the area have become unusually agitated and aggressive. Of course they have. Seek out these settlers and investigate their claims. Does this have anything to do with the Clover Key? <laughs> I like the way it's like, I know you're chasing me around now and you're asking me to do some errands, but is it actually related to what you want me to do? It is an interesting coincidence, but we have no evidence to suggest that there is a connection. Fine, you find the settlers. I shall leave now. So let's check the map. Okay, we have one settler. Why is, is that me? Oh yeah, uh, here and the as uh, so one settler is here and one settler is here. Oh wow. Oh, and there's another one all the way down there. So this is the closest one. So let's put that one on the map. Right here. Nice. I like the way they have it in the compass. It's like kind of nice. It, there is stuff on the UI, but I still think it, there's nothing really obtrusive in the <laughs> a candle. I love it. 
on the screen, you know, nothing that's like, oh my god, you know, that's like huge. Walnut chest. Examine it. Well, it looks like a chest made out of a walnut. On the back, there are hinges. On the front, there's a strange cavity in the shape of a folly clover. Try to open the chest. Okay, examine the chest. Examine the cavity. You run your hand over the four-leaf clover cavity. The bottom section moves slightly when you press it. Push it! Nothing happens. Ah, damn it. I pushed it wrong. Okay. Okay, we have to go this way. West it is. Oh yeah, we already seen that. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's get more resin. We definitely want to get all the resources as much as possible. Um, we still have we have to find the mushrooms and stuff and something to chop my axe with. Can I use my axe on the mushrooms? Oh, harvest! Nice, I love it. Can I do a right click? No. Oh, one edible mushroom. Surely this would have been more than one. Oh, can I also... So it goes straight... I Did it go straight into our inventory? Let me see. Or did we have to pick it up? I'm not pressing anything now. No. We have to pick it up. Okay, so we have to be careful. It's it's like arc, so when you chop something down, it will just lie there on the ground. We can always use V, I guess. Oh my god, every time I think I have all the resources already picked up, I like turn on this special side and it goes, Oh dude, what about these four thousand things you haven't picked up? Oh my god, resin. No, I already picked it up. They probably regrow. Let's go back into first person, like so we can harvest better. I find harvesting a bit easier in first person because you can aim at things. Oh wow! Okay, so this is like a small valley. We have to go west, 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 west. There, we have to go right across. And butterflies, hey! Look at you. Come here. And check you out close up. Look. Hey. Smash! No, okay. Damn it. Um, no, can't do anything here. Ladybug, hey! Hey, little dude. Smash! Oh, look at this. He's cheating. He can crawl up there. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, this cheating. They can run away. That's not fair. <laughs> can I stand on one? Will it walk with me when I stand on it? Let me see. No. All right. Fair enough. Oh, there's an owl down there. I don't know if there's a limit. We have to check it out. Ah! What the hell? Need bandages eight eight. Uh. 
Did you see that? Bam! They're taught, oh, look at this new player. Now, I've played survival games before. Strafe is the key to everything. Ant school, craft a campfire. Yes, right here in the domain of dominance, we shall craft. Oh shit, we shall craft another bed. Right here. And we shall craft a campfire. Right, the campfire is massive. My bed is tiny in comparison. Okay, um, what do we have? Use ant square. Yes, baby. And we can cook another one. Eating your victims and mushroom steak. Nice. So ant square gives us 30 nourishment. So let's have a quick look. Nice. And then we have mushroom steak. Another 30. Can we eat resin? No. Oh. Oh, you, you want to come for more? You want to come for more? You better run. Okay. Oh, there's loads actually. Holy crap. <laughs> Can we chop this down? Harvest needs a crude or hatch or better. Interesting. Okay, so the game doesn't actually pause. This is this is so funny. Um, heck, it still needs even now in Bethesda Games. <laughs> Unstuck, yes. Wonder if we can use them for flying months later. Um, well, apparently, uh, loads. I don't know if all, but loads of animals can become uh, mounts. So I don't know if the butterflies though are just background. Uh, filler for atmosphere i have no idea all right so let's explore a little bit more oh i can hear you i can hear you let's go let's dance let's dance pretty boy Bam! I got your lymph nodes. Oh my god. What 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 a part to choose of a body to take. Uh, can we do something with rocks? Oh, we need a pickaxe. Oh, okay. Do you know what? This area here, why not? Let's move our bed here. Okay? Um, let's craft a new one, then we just assemble this one. This looks like a good area to start. Why not? I mean, let's get cracking, okay? Let's uh, put a simple bed down. Can we rotate it? Yes, we can. I kind of like to be out here, you know, right here. And then we can also do a workbench. Let's do the workbench right here by the water. And we're gonna do a, oh, a stone cutter. What? Foundations, I didn't even think about that. Oh my God. Oh, look at that rotate and um, we can't make it go up or down can we make it go up or down T placement options um, okay T placement options um, so that costs us fiber and wood Okay, I'm not going to do that now because I need the materials for the other stuff. Oh my god, look at all the roof options. That is sweet. I'm loving this. So in the moment, 21 structures. I wonder, I mean, it's kind of come to early access. So I hope that they will add more and more complex building parts. That would be really nice. And um, we can make a chair and a twig torch. And table, a prep table, a cabinet, a cup table. Okay. So right now the important parts are here and a simple chest so we can put our items. Okay. Okay. We can access our chest. Nice. Okay, buddy boy. Oh, he was smart. He, he was smart. He learned. 
He learned. He knew I was going to destroy him. He's out mercy. Okay, we have to click the bed. And now I'm going to disassemble the bed up there. How do I disassemble that? Let me see. A7. Dismantle. Oh. Okay, we get two wood and two resin back. How much did it cost to build? Oh, we get everything back. Are you kidding me? So, crafting a bed costs two, two fiber and six wood. So, let's see what we get back. Two fiber and six wood. And one ant head was underneath my bed. Now, so far the game has really nice quality of life. Thanks. I love it. So, let's go to the um, workbench and use it. Build a hammer, simple way, wooden, wooden hatchet, crude hatchet, sword. Ooh, a sword. 8 to 11 damage. Wooden club is 6. Yeah. And a bow. Ooh, sorry. You have to go. That's where my long range goes. Oh, can I... How can I do that? 2, 1, no. Oh, how can I unequip? Oh, remove from hotbar. So right click to remove from hotbar. Okay. Let's make a simple bow. And make some wooden arrows. So if I craft this, how many wooden arrows do we get? Ten. Oh, here we go, baby. 40, 50, 60. Okay, that's enough. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, I forget that uh, our hotbar, everything in our inventory is also in our hotbar. That's fine, that's fine. Where's my bow? Here. Can I... Scrap this? Mm, no. Okay. Oh, and what about that sword? Okay. A wooden sword. Yeah, we need some more wood. Let's put the old pants in there. Some of the resin. Just in case we die. The head. Yeah, let's put all the resources in. It doesn't matter. Um, this doesn't show up though for some reason. Interesting. Okay. When we use the bed, you need to be sheltered to sleep. Oh, so you need to build a shelter. All right, so this is where we start and... Oh, yes. So satisfying, I love it. Okay, so we need wood. Can we chop down something bigger? Something that's... What do we need for that again? We need some mandible pickaxe or better. Oh, wow, a screw. Okay. For whatever reason, we, we, we can pick up screws. Oh, a key. That's pretty sweet. I love that. So we are in the human world, I guess. Okay. Let's see what that bow is like. You need to equip an arrow to use it. Okay, so drag an arrow, use, equip. Oh, okay, we have to equip it here. Ah, I see. Okay. Mm, okay. So on the map, can I see my base now? Yes, my spawn. Very nice. What is this? We can pick up a bottle cup. Okay. Oh, there's more of those black ants. 
Okay, I think we're gonna go with Mela. Oh, he's an ant warrior. Oh, yes, an ant warrior. He got nothing on me. Beautiful. I hope they can't destroy our base while it's so in the open. Oh, yeah, we need to make a campfire as well. So let's uh, craft that campfire again. And what can we cook? I sleep with an ant hand under my bed, yeah. Okay, we need mushrooms. Okay, so we need food. We need, I don't know, drink is not a thing. So it's just food really, nourishment. Um, and bandages for health. Oh, okay. Oh! Ooh. Okay, come on. You wanna go? You wanna go? Oh! Even though I dodged, it adjusted direction. Nice. Okay, so um, let's craft some more bandages, I guess. Um, G, is it? Oh. Can we not make some more bandages? Craft? How do I craft bandages? Okay, so there's a few. And I think when we take the ant head, we can eat it, I guess. Yes. Nice. Let's heal up a little bit. Oh, we get so little health. Oh, it's going over time. Okay, I get it. Yeah. And then food. And scores. And let's eat the next one as well. Full stomach, 180 seconds. Nice. We're filled up. That's brilliant. And we have more healing here. Okay, good. So we actually have quite a lot of space already there, which is nice. So let's explore a little bit. We have to go more west. So we might as well explore over here. Looks like a Valheim clone. Are you for real? <laughs> it looks, yeah. The, I, the Viking theme is just so, so strong in this one. And um, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, actually it's a World of Warcraft clone. If you want to be correct, it's a World of Warcraft clone. We all know that World of Warcraft is the mother of all the games. Like, even the ones that came before it. It's simple as that. When you dismantle a structure, all of the materials used when it was originally built will be dropped and appear as collectible loot. Yeah. Um, wonder if you can mine that key for metal at some point. It didn't have an interact button, but yeah, it would be pretty cool if you, if you could. So if we are in the real world, I mean, there was a key the small folk what is the law then are we actually in this universe in the human universe use bows and arrows to hit creatures from afar this can be particularly effective against flying creatures yeah okay we figured already all that out it's a doom clone you sure it's not more wolfenstein or um uh, serious sam i don't know I mean, if anything, what was the first game? Pong or something? So they're all clones of that. Oh, nice. Yes, we have more mushrooms. Can we actually chop down these guys here? Or they're just for jumping? Yeah, they're just for jumping. Okay. So let's correct some of these guys and make sure we effort at the same time because we have to collect all that stuff. That will give us some food. Yeah, nice. We got two. Oh, 
Oh, hi. Hey, dude. Hey. Why are you going away? Look what I got. I got resin. Do you want resin? No? Okay. I have nothing else for you. Oh, let me see something. Oh, shit. Oh! Wow, it actually, it, it, ooh, nice. Got an insect egg and we got grasshopper legs. Yes, we have a new crafting system. I, I only do it because I need to craft things. What is that? A poisonous mushroom, genie Mac. Okay. Poisonous mushroom, awesome. Oh, I can harvest it. Um, Lord Oscatan. Hello, brother. How is the uh, farm? i mother of all games. Is ever question. <laughs> ah! What the hell? Why is he a demon child? Oh, okay. Do I do more damage when it's fully charged? Yes, I do double damage actually when it's fully charged. So, strafe or strafe, whatever you want to call it, is your friend. Right in the noggin. I wonder if we can shoot it in the ass. Oh, it was chowing down. Holy crap. They weren't kidding when things at night become more vicious. Is there no crossover legs for this guy? Let me see. Um, where's my torch? No crosshopper legs. Okay, that was a bit scary, but okay. It's like the the night shadow. What is this hole? Hello. Oh, <laughs> if there was like big eyes in there, now I would have absolutely peed myself. We got another bottle cup, some more wood. Can we cross the water here? Or is that gonna be too deep? Oh. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, let's get more um, edible mushrooms. I have negative reputation with the grasshopper syndicate. <laughs> But the game is rewarding me for it, okay? Oh, can I chop wood? Oh, we need a crude hatchet or better. We need chitin for that. So what animal gives us chitin? Like what insect would give us chitin? I mean, something crusty. If it's not the ants, oh, scorpions. Ooh, that would be terrifying. Oh, can I walk on that? No, okay, I totally could. Can't chop it down either, okay. Oh, more wood. We definitely need a lot of wood. And for bandages, we need a lot of um, fiber. Just, is that the only source of wood or can we eventually get to some tiny trees or something? 
Okay, there's our base. What <laughs> base? Like that's our area. So let's actually see if we can craft something like a bed in a shelter. So the smallest possible shelter for a bed. So we need this and we need the wood. We can put, yeah, we need the resin and we can put all that stuff away for now. Actually, what can we cook now? What, what did we unlock in the workbench? A grasshopper side. Wow, look at that. And if we get refined wood. Oh, okay. So what do we need to make the saw? Oh, we need a screw and oh, stone. I don't have stone yet. Okay, so stone is something I don't know how to get yet. So a crude hatchet. Yeah, chitin. Does it say where we get chitin from? No. Oh, we can repair our torch. Okay. A bow, a hatchet. Yeah, let's just repair everything. Okay. Okay, so if we make a foundation, um, does it remove grass? I love it. This is sweet. Advanced rotation. Oh, what? Look at that. You can change the, the center point. That is insane. That is awesome. Okay, so what about doors? So we have a door frame. Let's put it here. Then we have a window. Definitely want a window um, out, uh, out the front, I guess. And then one maybe on the side. Oh. Inside, outside, inside. Okay. So what happens if I... Can I dismantle? I can dismantle and I get all the resources back. That is awesome. Yeah. So let's um, do some walls. Oh, is that the wrong way around? Am I actually having the inside on the outside? I think that was supposed to be the inside. I think I have it the wrong way around. <laughs> okay, uh, dismantle. We get everything back. That is so sweet. I love that. Um, structure build. Okay. Oh, crap. Rocking it like a pro. I'm gonna cook their face. Make some mushroom stick. There we go. I hope we don't get a bigger creature coming down on us. Okay, so we have to dismantle everything that was built the wrong way around. Um, oh, sorry, seven. There we go. Um, dismantle. Mantle, mantle, and get all the resources back. Yes, thank you. Okay, door frame. Window. Oh, the other way around. I suppose it's up to you. You might want it the other way around. Oh, I don't have resources? Insufficient materials. Okay, so what are we lacking? Um, 
Yeah, we need more fiber and wood. So let's go and harvest some. This is awesome. I love this. Loads of fiber here. I think the fiber is respawning, actually. Let's check up what's up here. Can I pick up my arrows again? Mm, no, I don't think so. Ooh, nice. That's where we get the fat from. Okay, hey, dude. Oh my god. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Okay. Anyway, that's how we get the fat. That's interesting. That's where the key was. Let's see if we can get more. Uh, explore a little bit there in the back with the flowers and get more resources. And we should also eat a little bit. Oh, crap. All my across Assassin's Creed um, training is paying off. Oh, did you see that? Wow. What a boss. Uh, click move sucks. <laughs> We're playing Hogwarts into magic now. Oh man, yeah, Hogwarts is great. Um, you did it through it, Chris. Did you do it through it? I did it through it to 25, and then I played a Necromancer. And the moment I got Corpse Explosion, that was it. Face roll. I, I, I changed my mind. I'm gonna probably roll a Necromancer, Corpse Explosion. Absolutely fantastic. Crap, there's a lot of them. The combat is nice. It's not too hard, but it, if you just stand there like an idiot, you, you and these are easy enemies in the moment. Like, there is going to be probably spiders or what? Oh, spiders. Actually, can we? What what has happened with combat? <laughs> I love the way I can see my my nipples on my head, like when I'm walking, going, going, going. Um, is there anything else I can pick up? Yeah. Oh, there's nothing to pick up here. Oh, a bottle cap. Stones. We don't have the axe yet. A damselfly. Oh boy. Here we go. like the A-Team. I can just hear the A-Team music on that little helicopter. Oh, shit! Where is it? Oh, nice! Insect wings, nice. Okay, we're getting some really good resources. For oh, this looks like we can chop it down. Oh, hello, bro. I 
can't pick it up. Okay, let's see if we can chop this. No. This has to be an ant hole. Can we not go into them? No. Oh, you're the one I actually attacked earlier. Oh, how did I miss that? Right be between... Okay, now it's just taking the mickey. There we go. Yeah, I prefer being in combat like this. It's a bit scary if you have to look at everything that you're fighting straight up. Because you can't look behind you. You don't know where everything's coming from. Yeah, I haven't tried ignoring minions yet. Um, I know there's an option when you upgrade your book of nightmares or whatever it's called. And you can say I want to sacrifice my minions for more crit or something. Uh, I didn't. I only played it to level 8 or 9 or something. Um... Yeah, where's it gone? Okay. Okay, we didn't get anything for that. Okay, let's go a little bit on. And we can't really do anything with these. Oh! can do something with these. Oh, we need to crude hatchet. Merv plants or whatever they're called. Let's head up here for a second. Let's explore. Let's up here. No, that just goes back down the other side. Okay, I think we have enough resources. Oh, there's some mushrooms. We have to get back to the mushrooms. And then we have a set, a set for food as well. Um, there is a skill, you um, Artemis, there was a skill um, on the second um, set of skills where you have, um, you increase the chance of creating a corpse uh, from your attacks, uh, from your uh, from your attacks uh, by 4% and then the second point I think it's 8% and then it's 12% or something and that helped me a lot and the first skill I used was the I forgot what it's called you basically suck the energy out so it was a constant attack and uh, my minions were attacking it I literally just kept sucking on the boss I know what it sounds like and every now and then I just got a corpse and went boom and that was it so Oh, the butcher wrecked me. Yeah, I, w I walked into a room, saw th saw that guy, and I was like, oh, okay, he's in a dungeon. Like, yeah, but oh my god, he just one-shot me nearly, even on the druid. Like, it was pretty intense. So can oh, wasps. Nice. We get it? How many arrows do I have left? Um, eleven. Ooh. Okay, so right over here on the map, we have wasps. I suppose, can we do this and can we um, name the marker? No, we can't. Would be nice if you could name the marker. Okay, now we have to try to actually shoot one of those things. No, I don't think you can actually hurt them. Oh, another grasshopper. Actually, hang on a second. Um, what we have in our inventory, it said that insect eggs um insects is a day no no where was it this one books on clear fluid insect it helps with cooling in hot water in hot weather and provides rapid hydration there was something else did we not have something on us that was also 
tasty for animals or something. Can feed creature. Yeah, it says can feed creature. So what happens if we equip that? Oh, actually put it in our hand. Can we? Okay, five. Oh no, no, we're eating it. I don't want to eat it. I thought we could feed it to the creature, but yeah, okay, that's not how it works. Okay, yeah. Okay. Ah, we're actually sucking an animal try. Okay, so let's go here. Go to our spawn here for a second. Oh yeah. I like that you can have multiple things highlighted. That's really nice because they just show up on the compass. Let's finish chopping down these mushrooms. Oh, you can name your marker. Okay. Because I wouldn't mind coming back here and saying this here is a hornet's nest. Like right in front of us. So right here, a wasp nest, whatever. Oh, there, yeah, of course. It's blinking. Um... That's pretty cool. So let's see how accurate that is. So I have to run over here. There we go. Awesome. And it shows up even on the ground then. That is so sweet. Let's have a quick look over here. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Wow. And there's the big tree of life. Or something whatever I think there's a big gigantic tree somewhere this looks amazing oh look there's a building what can we actually reach that oh that would be so amazing anyway let's go back to our spawn point oh okay the wasp is like aggressive as balls oh okay here we go 39, baby. 29, baby. Oh, we got stung by a wasp. Oh, I'm out. I got you. Poked it right in the ass. Oh, look, we're poisoned or something. We're taking damage. Yeah, we're poisoned. That. Oh, look at that. That's insane. Can we see our poison damage? Status, yeah, it's obviously gone again. So wasps um, cause an ailment. Oh yeah, make sure we picked everything up. I'm not gonna fight another wasp again um, right now. Oh, insect eggs, nice, okay. Yeah, showing that wasp who's boss, you know. Put some baking set. Ladybugs are docile creatures, but in grounded they will. Uh, they, oh yeah, in grounded they will absolutely kill you. Like yeah. Oh. We have to go back to our base and finish up building our base, so that we can put the bed inside. Okay, let's see if we can actually catch up with it. Is it just gonna keep running or... Yeah, there you go, it stopped. Ha! Yes, nice. More fat. Anything else? No. What is it? What's over here? Oh, that looks like a big... Oh, ho, 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 screw off! You see that? I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Oh, shit! Jumping spider. Vulnerability edge. Oh my god, is there another one coming from the top? They're trying to surround me. Is it? Is it dangerous? Will it attack? Hello?
Hello? Oh, they seem to be not attacking. Okay. Holy crap, Apple. Scary, scary, scary. Um, okay. Oh yeah, you, you can make them a mount. I just have to figure out how we can feed them and stuff. And you know, we have to obviously eventually be able to make things where we can. I don't know if you have to make saddles or if you can just ride them like arc style saddles, or I guess it's gonna be more simplified that once you tame them, you can just mount them. Oh, where's our base? Oh no, that's not where we had our base. We're nearly back home. Yeah, I think that some, some of the stuff has respawned already. Like, we definitely picked up everything here. That is nice. So they have respawn rates actually quite high then, I guess. Awesome. Okay, so now we should be able to finish the um, building. Let's get the walls done. Um, I like to make things too high. I don't know why, but uh, let's let's just conserve some stuff. So we have corner leaf roof. What is that? Leaf roof chimney. What? Oh, wow. Look at that. So you can put the fire indoors. <laughs> is it? That's crazy. Okay. And yeah, I can make stairs. All right. Um, I don't think I need a I need that for right now because I, my house isn't big enough. Because I think you need to have at least three apart or something, so that you can close in on it. Actually, going into first person here makes a lot more sense, I guess, during building. So let's do the corners. We have a corner leaf roof and a corner leaf roof. So this one is kind of a rounded roof. Okay. Okay, I see. And... Oof, okay. Um, so how do we do that? Is it that... No, that's a flat one. So we need... Oh, that's a totally different one. Um, so how are we going to do the... Yeah, so we can't actually... Oof. Can we not just do another corner on the other side? Yeah, like that. Hang on. What is wrong? Um... No, that looked weird. Yeah, that's that looks weird. That's not. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. Can you just do this? So they blend in or something? No. Okay. So how are we going to do a simple roof then? Yeah, that doesn't work either. Ah, 
Balls. Ah, crap. I pressed the wrong button and destroyed everything. <laughs> uh, building the wall. Uh, think of the first two roofs were placed a bit off. Do you think? Because I thought you could just... Okay, let's just... Can we do like a tiny ladder? Yeah, it says tiny steps outside so we can maybe get a better look. Okay, so if we turn this... So if you have that, yeah and you have the same here then okay let's see um Okay, and then from the outside we have this in the center. You see, it looks fine on that side, but on that side it doesn't, so I must be doing... Yeah, that's off, you're right. There we go. Okay, yes, that was the problem. And then we do this here as well. That's it. I think we have a full roof now. Nice. Okay, so let's bring the bed inside. Um. spawn point now we need to make a second chest because oh actually can we make a torch or something craft one of those wall torches or something firefly oh we don't have firefly juice a twig step in resin will burn for a long time glowing at the edges of the darkness so there's no let's see if we can make a torch thing on the workbench can make the sword that's nice um, and more wooden arrows um, let's make the sword first excellent and there's no scrapping things oh shit what the hell is with the weather oh it's getting really cold okay okay Quickly build a door. Okay, and we need to eat. Um, mushroom steak. And then heal a bit. Good. Let's put the chest right here, I guess. A twig torch, that's what I was looking for. Yes! Uh, let's put one right here by the window. Oh, I love it! Oh, we can even to put it on the roof or in the middle? Not sure where it's actually burning. I think that was wrong. Yeah, I 
thank you. Not what I wanted to do, but at least I can sleep. Is it morning? Yeah, it's morning now. That is brilliant. I love that. And let's put another one here beside the door, I guess. Yeah. That's actually really cool. I like that. Um, we all... Okay. Oh, no. Repair. Okay, we have a repair animation as well, which is pretty awesome. Uh, pixies were mentioned. Yeah, the inside of that does not look like 90 degrees. So I think with the building, it's better to do it at broad daylight or if they could, um, like, as you place things, um, you, you know, to have, like, a better silhouette around it to see exactly which way it's actually turned. Because, like, say, like this, you look at this right now. I actually don't know if I'm just looking at it in an angle or which way it is around. I have no idea. But if I look at it in this angle, I can see better and say, oh, yeah, I can see this is the corner. But if you look at it in this angle, it's very hard to see which way it's turned. So it might be a good idea to have like a nice, like some a little bit of a frame around it, uh, like an ever so slightly glowing frame. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be more than like two pixels wide or something, you know. And just so you can see what you're actually doing. Um, anyway, we need um, a chest, we need several chests, I guess. So let's put them here. Um, is that the right way around? Actually, this way around. So one here. And we can make one more right beside it. Do they attach? No. Insufficient materials. Oh, okay, then never mind. also need to cook all these that definitely put all these these things away we don't need anymore the screws and the oh we have chitin the wasp did we get the chitin from the wasp it could be so we need to make and then we have a poison gland as well um and then we have an insect sting oh wow grasshopper legs we can cook Mushrooms we can cook, and this we can cook. Insect fat, no idea really. Insect wings. Let's see what the... I can hear the... Oh, one shot, baby! Oh yeah, there you go. Oh yeah! <laughs> Off with their heads. Oh, and the twigs are already all back. We definitely cleared this area. So, resource respawn. Guys who do the forest, this is what you want, okay? Because your story, it's good, but it's kind of just like, it's a story. It's not that all mind-blowingly, amazingly new. Like, so, um, playing the forest for the story, yeah, the first for forest story was very good. The second one is kind of okay. I don't think it's that mind blowing. Um, but if if they remove resource respawn, it's like so what? You want people to play your game just for the story? Yeah, it's not really something that you should be aiming for. I think in a survival game, like you know, it's like sure we have a story here as well. But do I really have to go and see Kalef right now? No, I can literally sit here and build a monstrous castle now if I want to. That's the whole point, you know? It's That's the point of a survival game. Uh, a Japanese feudal era castle in grounded nice. Um, this game is really nice. It looks cute. It's deceivingly uh, deceiving, though, because it looks cute, but then you get these things hitting you really hard, and you're like, oh, shit. So let's make uh, two more of those, and then we need... Um, to get some oh fire arrows no we don't have stone wood arrows so we have to collect more fiber okay. so let's put everything oh yeah let's uh, quickly check also the other recipes we had um, for a 
poison arrow now, insect sting, insect fur, a poison dart, and a ladybug travel kit. We need nectar. So if, oh, this kit includes a special tree to tame a ladybug? Where do we get nectar from? Oh man, that would be awesome. Okay, new mission, nectar. We need nectar and we need to um, build more. Okay, let's close the door. I suppose the game saves. I'm not sure. Sa does it save? You can't sleep. No, okay. So I'm not sure exactly how it saves, when it saves. It would be great. It had a bit of a save thing going on, but we'll see. Um, where to go? Oh yeah, we have to repair things as well, but we have no resources. So, Nectar. Let's go towards Kalev and see if that's maybe where we can find some more stuff. Kalev is here. It, the combat feels fine. It, it actually feels really nice. And I also like that when you're trying to dodge, that uh, things like the ants, sometimes you dodge, and they seem to be changing direction just before they attack. So you have to time your dodges kind of a little bit. And when they hit you, they don't hit you that hard, like, to be fair. Yeah. So it's not like you're going to be like completely murdered by that. Um, oh, yeah. Did I bring any food, actually? should probably have cooked um, our mushrooms and bring them with me. I have enough resin for now, I think. So let's put that here. Actually, one thing I want to remap because I'm used to that from um, Assassin's Creed, and that will do me a lot more favors for my uh, muscle memory. Um, oh, you can play with the controller as well. Um, yep, the thumb mouse button. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Now, now we're rocking and rolling. Now I'm in Assassin's Creed mode. Eagle Vision. Love Eagle Vision. You see all these mushrooms we chopped down earlier? They all have regrown. I love that. Sadly, can say Seven Days to Die has a huge diversity of building blocks than grounded. Oh no, Seven Days to Die, to be fair, Seven Days to Die is still, to me, the mother of all building games right now. Yeah. Um, but it, it really depends on what you're looking for in a game, I guess. And sometimes less is more. Like, say, for example, if... Uh, for me, Imperion, when it came out, was amazing. I loved the building in it, but then it became too much for me. Once it turned the building into more like... Um, uh, you know that space game, that other space game that you have uh, that's, like, really complex building with thrusters and all that? I was like, okay, that's like, you know, I don't, I don't want to end up having a degree in something like, you know, just building things. You know, I don't want to know about um, torque and, and all that. You know, I just want to build, like, you know, and make it just magically fly. Okay. So we don't have any um, things to attack you with, so you're good for now. Where's our body actually? Oh, I lost my way. There, we have to get across here somehow. Yeah, uh, Space Engineers, that was the other one. So, yeah, no, they can be great fun, but if I have to actually sit down and learn mechanics and learn about how physics works, there's a reason I didn't 
care about physics in school because I don't really care about it, you know? I know that when I fall down, that's gravity and that's about as much as I need to know. Oh, is that fire ants? Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, balls. Oh, it's even straf it's strafing me. Oh, the little bastard. Yeah, just go for it, just go for it. Holy crap, a bull ant. What the hell is that even? I'm not feeling well at all. So we have to be careful here. Oh, look at you. What are you? There's a bottle. Okay. Can we chop any of these things down, actually? Oh, there's more. Don't tell me you also... Is that one of those... Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I don't want to die. We have to go over to Kevla over here. Whatever his name is. Wow, it hits hard. Okay. It has too much health. It has too much health. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, you better run. I'm not done with you, but I let you go for now. You may live today. So we have to get across here somehow. How are we gonna get... Oh, there. We can get across up there. Okay. Oh, you can block, but uh, it also uses energy, so I don't really know. And I, um, and I don't know if I can craft any more healing. I don't think I can craft healing, actually, on my person. So we need the workbench for that. Oh, I like a little bit of parkour here. Nice. Look at that's rocking and rolling. To infinity and beyond. Oh, what is this? Hey, you. Oh, this is where the wasps are. There's more wasps. I think the other ones were hornets. These ones look like... What are they? Yeah, we definitely have more wasps here. Berries. Lovely. Slide. Oh. oh! Okay, why is everything aggressive? Oh, no. Kevin, help me, Kevin. Okay, go attack the wasps. Ah! 
Oh, I missed. Ah! Um. <laughs> Kevin, where are thou? Oh, wood. Cool, no wood. Okay. <gasps> berries! Look at that, we have to pick up all those berries. Nice, oh. Nice, blackberries, blackberries, blackberries. Lovely. Oh, my dear lord, it's like, run for your life. Whoop, whoop, Ninja John Wick. Okay, I'm gonna have to walk up here, I guess. Okay, ah! I saw John Wick. I know how it works. Look at you. You're trash now. <laughs> well, always no shield run. He's just not using it. Uh, there is a block, yeah, but when they hit you... I, I don't want to block when there's like five, six, seven of them. Like, but uh, we can try the block uh, against one mano el mano. Yeah, we can try a block. Um, anyway, where's our friend Kevin, whatever his name is? Holy crap. Oh, what happened here? Oh. Hey, dude. I'm Corporal... Okay, I'm calling Kevin. What are you doing here? What's that armor you wear? Oh, I made it myself. Using rocks I found in the mine, it's incredibly durable and provides a great protection against the creatures you may encounter in the shore. Speaking of which, Scotty has also fashioned some remarkable armor using resources from that area. Map updated. Nice. Can you make one for me? Oh, if I would have stones, he can make all that for me? That is amazing. And then we could just stand there laughing at the wasps as they're trying to sting me. Okay, so what is my map updated with now? Oh, he said my map was updated. Oh, I don't know what with. Oh, Scotty, of course, yeah. We already knew where Scotty was. Oh, okay. So I, I have a feeling you're gonna have multiple bases in this game. <laughs> but, um, oh, what is that? Can you sleep there? Can I sleep here? Can I drink? Can I eat? Can I use your campfire? I can't use your campfire, you selfish bugger. Okay, fine. We're gonna make our own campfire. Oh. Building not allowed here. Hmm, okay. Ah, there's something. Ha! Always find a way. And we need to make a bed as well. Oh. Spawn point. Okay, so this is like arc, like in the sense of how many spawn points you need and everything. Holy crap. So let's uh, make all these guys. And the mushroom steaks. Thank you. And we need bandages. So what we really need to make as well is another workbench. Then we can make bandages. I need some fibers. Okay, so every now and then, I guess, you're going to have to sit down and you're going to have to grind resources. Um, I like that we have actually a lot of space now. Inventory, that's really sweet. And uh, we got the resources. We can repair our items now. 
and then we can prepare for the next part of the journey or we can just um you know explore the mines i don't know what's in there something there but we can just gather more resources this area definitely seems to be a bit tougher than um the area we started in oh this is the mines is it oh there's some huge creatures there We need resources. There's twigs here. I need um, oh, they're poisonous mushrooms. Um, I need. Where is the fiber? That's what I'm looking for. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Where do I get fiber from? There's no fiber here. Oh, look, this is honey, is it? What's this? Can you climb up? It looks sticky. I should be able to climb up. Books. Nectar would be nice. There's absolutely no uh, fiber here. That's crazy. Can I jump this? Oh crap, I actually died, died. Whoopsie. I need to get I need to get my stuff back. <laughs> Crap. Nighttime is not the best to go out, I guess. But I need my stuff back. At least I got my weapon. I like the way that it left my weapon. So I'm not really sure. Oh, oh shit! That is. Oh wow! This is one pissed off ladybug. Okay. Get okay, my last bandage. So if you want ladybugs, you actually just go out at night into their territory. That looks really amazing, actually. How are we going to get back home? Oh, my God. Um... Oh, shit. I don't remember now where my home was. It was somewhere here. 
Oh, I should have put a marker down. Okay, so this one we don't need to worry about. I think it was here. Oh, balls. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, I need to get to the other side. Um, fuck. We need to go back up on that. Are you sure it was across the river? Are you sure it wasn't? This is the Wasp and Hornets. Yeah, it was somewhere here on that side. Yeah. Oh, balls. You're gonna have to go across the river again. Oh, nice fiber. Can we jump across? No, we can't really. So we have to kind of go up here, I guess. And then get up there somehow. These guys are just mushrooms, yeah? Cool. No, he can't swim. I suppose the water current is just too too strong, I guess. So I kind of like it that, uh, uh, that there's like a limitation so that you have to find a way around things, if that makes sense. No, my torch. There is a mushroom stuck there and I can't reach it. Very annoying. I think this reminds me of some other game, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Grounded, yeah, yeah. It's I, uh, I, I again. Development-wise, actually, oh, there was a vault animation. That is pretty cool. Do you see that when we couldn't climb up, he actually vaulted up. Um, I think it's uh, obviously very much like uh, grounded came out first. But for all we know, this was in development ten years before. Who knows? I have no idea. I don't know. Um, obviously, I made that up. Um, okay, we have to go down here because we have to go home. Here. Yes. Or is it this one? I actually don't know. No. It has to be this one. These guys are like spiders. They're not. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Thank you. Gotta collect those resources. Gotta collect those resources. Okay. Oh, look at that. Is that a moth? Oh, well, that's the nighttime version of a butterfly. Hello. Hey. No, doesn't care. Okay, hang on a second. Oh, I didn't. I missed it. Ah! <laughs> my house. Oh, crap. Sorry, where's my stupid building? Oh, man. 
Okay, I have to go across the water here somewhere. Oh, that's too high, that's too high, that's too high. Maybe here. Oh man. There, 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 there. Oh, I think we're going in the wrong direction now because that's the bottle. Damn it. There we go. What's in the bottle? Nothing. Okay, bottle cap. Now, where's our house? I think our house was up here. Yeah. I just have to walk a long ass way around. I could have gone here, but there was too many ants. So I have to do that long, big hullabaloo walk around. Now, what I could do is actually, let me see quickly. Um, do a workbench. Oh, come on. Seriously? Ah, there. And then build simple bandages. Nice, thank you. Oh, okay. Nice. And then we can take it apart again. I love this. This is great. Okay. Now there's more wasps. Don't care for wasps. We want to get across here. We have to go this direction. Um, bottle cup can be turned into a shield. Um, I have to look. I didn't really check. Let me see. Um, is there something like a shield? I don't see a shield here anywhere. No, the bottle cups are used for... Um, For the actual saw machine, so for the bigger build, for the bigger uh, constructions. We're gonna have to race, race. No, we have to go this way. Why can I not find my way across? There, there we go, there we go. Oh, jeez, that gave me fright. Oh, shit. Dude. Okay, you gave me fright there. Man, don't do that. Okay. There's the bull ants, and we have to go this way. Actually, we have to, we have to go for it. Let's go for it. Okay, let's block. Okay, I didn't need to block. It was just too easy because it didn't expect us. But I think when you block, you still take damage. Oh, crap. Let's try it out. Yeah, no, this is attacking way too fast. Nope, nope, nope. I'm out, I'm out. Heal. Make sure we're going in the right direction. Yeah. brains thank you yes we're back home oh sweet that's the lily pad nice so we should be coming across uh, a lot more uh, fiber now can we build a bridge 
I wonder. Oh, there we go. Oh! Because these guys have all respawned. So I'm assuming all, yep, yeah, they all respond as well. Nice. Loads of fiber. It's actually kind of nice. I like it. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Get out. Get out. Oh, my God. We're going back to all the way where we spawned on our bed. Oh, my God. I hate my life. Okay, what's the quickest way home now? Jesus, okay. There has to be a direct way. There has to be a faster way. Um, okay. There. Okay, that's it. Um, yeah. We have to go through... Oh. Oh, an elevator. I see. <coughs> Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. Fine. But this will still be faster than... Uh... <laughs> um, a shield would only be good if you can literally mitigate the, uh, mitigate the damage to zero. Yeah? Um, we have to get across here. There's actually a path across to this side right here. And then we can go around there. So that should be the fastest way. How did you get up here? Mother of testicles. Jesus. No. No touches. Especially not with the thorny bits. Oh my god. I thought we can get across here. Oh my god. I thought we can get across here. I lied. I lied. Oh, it's down there. Yeah, we have to go down. Okay. Jump cut. Whew, ninja. Oh no, it's over there. Damn it. Okay. No. Qua <sighs> ninja style. <laughs> I have no health. I'm dying. Oh my god, there's another one. Oh my god, why is there no easier way to get from here to there? Okay, can we build a bridge or something? Like, why is this so difficult? <laughs> this this ant, yeah. I bet you a cookie that mobs spawn behind you just to mess with you. I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. Um, the thing is, there's really not much resources here. So do I have like two? No, I died with nothing. So it basically keeps that. So, how are we going? Can we build like anything to go across? I don't know. Oh, maybe we can. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? That we die again? Yeah. Um, can we kind of slide down here? So maybe we can do the rock jump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Now from here, where to? Okay, so that's definitely not a way. Can you make a boat? I hope you can make a boat at some point where you can just travel across. But that really looked like we could go across there. Hmm. 
My armor is broken now. I think all my armor is gone. It's actually completely broken, yeah. Okay, oh, maybe we can jump across here. I mean, that seems like small enough. Potentially. can walk a little bit into the water here before it gets deep so maybe we can just about jump across here on that part yes oh so close so close to our house oh yes and don't fall into the stupid water now <laughs> This is awesome. I really like that all our stuff was still there. This is so, so far the game and all the parts where you think, oh, this is going to get annoying. Yeah, it has the quality of life. in. Yeah. So, you know, it's like it's easy to die, but, you know, don't worry about it. You know, I don't know if there's a timer on your on your stuff, but it basically tells you, you know, there's your stuff, even if you keep dying. You have nothing on you now, you know, maybe you have something on you, but a little bit. I don't actually know what happens if you ignore your tomb, build up a whole new big inventory and then die again. I don't know if you lose both then or if the other tomb is actually there and I just can't see it because it only shows one tomb. So that I don't know. Um, so if we go to repair. Oh, we don't have enough fiber now. Yeah, of course. So we have to get more fiber. Oh, my bad. Genie Mac set the spawn point now. Now, but outside the spawn point, we are also going to put this here. And then we can remove this, okay. Now we just need a little bit more fiber for uh, repairing the sword. And then we're back in the game. So all we really did, like we got to another NPC that means nothing really. Um, sure, it progresses the story a little bit, but that's about it. But we need more um, fiber. I mean, we're in the starter area now, so there should be plenty of fiber and stuff. So, yeah, I think in this game, it's taking your time is probably better. And trying to explore all the different areas than trying to follow the story. Unless, unless the game is is designed in a, in a way where following the the npcs is kind of recommended to unlock certain things yeah i don't know but for example for the wasps we're gonna make loads of arrows we're gonna go and chase down some wasps over near near our current location and they should give us chitin or actually sorry i think we got the chitin from the grasshopper so if we go to the grasshopper area again we're just gonna go there at night even like and um get some chitin and then we can make um what do we need chitin for the saw much the saw thing and then we can make refined wood i think was the saw machine there's not a lot of ways oh okay actually they, i can't believe i didn't see them are you sure they don't spawn in the moment they turn on the lights Jeez, and now I can... Okay. 
Okay. So a lot of them were hiding inside the bushes, I guess. Oh my god, they're right here. How did I not see them? Can feed creature. Okay, we definitely need to make some bandages now uh, after repairing everything. Now we just need to do another round um, of collecting fiber, um, a fiber to get um, arrows. And then once we have a lot of arrows, um, we're gonna take on the wasps uh, or the crickets, whichever give us chitin, and then we can make that um, this thing here, which needs. We have the screw. Oh, we don't have stone. Jeez, how do we get stone then? How do we get the Crude hatchet. We need four chitin. Okay, the crude hatchet is what we need next. The primitive but sharp tool for cutting through various types of moderate hard stems. We need a mandibular pickaxe. Oh, we can make that. <gasps> Fiber. Yes, that's what we need for this. Oh my god, this is so you. This is so great. And look at the fiber already regrown again. That is so awesome. more fiber here I think that's enough fiber now so the the ants that we came across on the way to Kevin um, they actually gave us the resources we needed to make this pickaxe that is awesome so here we go pickaxe baby so now yes Oh, that is sweet. Oh. Can we do something with the key? No. There's no interaction with the key. You get good Wi-Fi with those antennas, yes. I hope we can at some point make a boat. That would be so sweet. Like traveling down the these uh, lakes. Oh, that respawn rate. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I mean, you see, the thing is, there's nothing you can build that makes it like, oh, you're cheating. It's like, you know, you're not like, yeah, it's like. It's, I like this, yeah, I mean, maybe it's only for early access, fair enough, you know, but then maybe later on when they're out of early access and the respawn rates are lowered, it's because you can make so much more, you have so much more variety, you can build bridges, you can, actually, we have to see if we can build bridges, like, this has to be a thing. So, one of the things that we have is advanced rotation here, yeah? So, let me see, advanced rotation drag to rotate so can i no so i can move this okay let me see if i make this guy up what changed what changed i mean nothing changed really Oh, we can actually make it higher as well. I didn't realize that that's how it works. Okay. 
So could we build something going across? It must be attached to ground. Okay, so that doesn't work. Oh, my resources are in the water. No. Okay. How about... Oh, no. Oh, shit. Yeah, so that doesn't work. Damn it. What about stairs? Insufficient material. Okay. New plan. New plan. We're gonna get across. End of story. It will happen. I'm blocking. How much damage did I take blocking? Hang on, I have 72. So I still took 5 damage. So I would assume you take 10 damage without blocking. So it's about 50% damage reduction. Can you abuse the floor and foundation system? Well, I hope I can. That's my plan. Uh, there we go. There's some fire right here. I don't need resin. Oh, I need a crude hatchet now. I should be able to get that with the stone. And I wonder if that gives us more wood. I thought I saw another. Ah, loads here. Eat something. Okay, let's go back. Look at that. It's it's yellow now. Okay, so can we use the floor system now again? Um what is this? Leaves floor. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, look at that. We can actually <gasps> Ooh, yeah, floor. So if we if we do this, Oh, oh, <laughs> that is sexy. We were able to build inside. Awesome. Um, hang on, this one here, yeah. So let's take that, I guess. Yeah, picked it up. And can we put this on here? No. But can we put a foundation on that? No, why not? Can we put a foundation on that? No. 
stairs or not? We can. Oh boy. There it is. There it is. There it is. Come on. Not enough structural support because that's just a roof. But can we go and do another um, floor? It seems like we could. There's no snapping though. Yeah, I definitely think we can do something here. So let's just suck it all back up. What happens if we destroy that? Oh, okay. So. We can make a bridge like that across where there's no rocks. So the rocks are going to be a bit problematic because we need stairs. Oh, I sucked it up, but it didn't go into my inventory. Okay. Okay, so let's go to over here. Like right here. Okay, this way. This should be possible. So first we start with the foundation. Then we're going to use a floor. Not enough structural support. So we can go up to three out. Can we put another foundation now there? it there's a tiny little gap here but that's okay that's fine so you can go about three out yeah we're not falling down so this is awesome and then we can make some stairs to go up I guess ah oh, shit Oh, okay, hang on a second. Dude, come here. Um, torch. Torch, torch, torch. Where are you? We need chitin. Sounds like crows. Oh, we need to heal, yeah. Oh, there we go, there we go. That was actually not as bad as I thought. Chitin, excellent, yes. So let's heal up again. So this is great. So we might be able to make a bridge system all the way to Kevin.
I prepared someone is a more or less dead someone. Yeah, exactly. So the only thing I would like to see here now is rums. So let me see if we can uh, do that. That doesn't work. Yeah, that's kind of sad that you can't do that. So I really hope they're gonna let us do that like arc where if you build something like up high that you can build stairs. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, never mind that we're building like a, a, a cheaty bridge, yeah? But it would make sense that if you build your base a little bit up high, you know, to make it nice, that you can do that. I mean, how else are you gonna get into your base? It makes no sense not being able to do that. Oh, look at that, we can put a leaf roof there. Can we attach the stairs to the roof? No. Yeah, okay. Why does that go yellow? I mean, when you do it on that side, it stays green. But there it goes yellow. So what's the difference to that? So yellow must mean you can only put so much support on or something. Yeah, that doesn't work. But anyway, that's enough. We can actually jump across, so that was really awesome. And um, we have our own bridge, which is great. And this is basically going across here. And then we had just have to find a way to get across to Kevin um, on that other side. So how many resources do we have? Um, we have 12, so let's go and do we have another pile? Another pile no. Okay, let's go and get fiber. And theoretically, just walk over to Kevin again. That general direction here. And see if we can make another bridge somewhere close by. I mean, there we have a river. Ooh, there's a bit of a beach area here. So we could theoretically do something here. This is nice and close. Yeah, this looks lovely. And it gets us right to the wasps as well, or whatever is there. So we could, um, again, foundation first. Um, build it low, I guess. Um, or actually, can we make it closer to the water? What's the closest we can do? Oh, we can even make another foundation. That's actually better. Because that means we can have more room with the... Um, oh, with the roof. Now, we should try to make a foundation instead whenever we can, if it's low enough. No, it's not. Okay. Let's see if we can use foundation again. No. And foundation now. No. That gives me fright. That torch always gives me a heart attack. So now we need a foundation. Otherwise, yeah. I think we're not allowed to continue building with that. What about a roof? No. No, we can't cheat it either. No. Okay. So now we have to go foundation. Over here. And then we can put another... Um,
Okay, good. So this is actually really, really awesome. So building bridges is, is really nice. Like this is not exactly aligned, but you know, it doesn't matter, it works. It gets us exactly where we want to go. We don't have to worry about the silly water. And we have some chitin now as well. So let's see if we can make um, a crude axe. Uh, I think we only needed stone for that. We probably have to make a chest out here for our food. Um, or can we make a chest? I suppose we can make another chest inside and put our food in there. Yeah, there we go. So food here. An unscore. And yeah, we're just gonna top them up. There you go. Actually, that's 10. Good. And then this is for our torch. Excellent. So we have some backup food here. And um, yeah, now resources. Like, will it use our resources from the chest? Let's see. So if I put all the bottle cups in here, will it use the bottle cups, cups from the chest? Crude hatchet. Which anything with bottle caps? Let me see. Um, uh, bottle caps. Bottle caps. Okay, let's put all the fiber away and see. So the crude axe hatchet. We need three more chitin. Mandel like this is full uh, mandible and resin and wooden fiber. So let's put the wooden fiber away for a second. Um, here, wood and fiber, and see what happens. No, so it doesn't use chests unless you maybe can connect a chest. Is that something you can do? Uh, let me just take the food back out for a second and dismantle the chest. Can you connect the chest? Now there's no snapping thing. that in there let's see no okay so nearby chests also don't work oh i got all my wooden fiber back okay good um so yeah that there's that, that doesn't exist um less drowning yeah that's exactly um so yeah that that's really nice i like that um so two chests should be enough for now but um we're probably gonna end up having loads of chests, to be honest. I can see myself having a whole mountain of chests. Now, we can't make walls. As far as I understand, um, we can't really do this. So what we would need to do to make um, a kind of a wall to protect us, I guess, is we would have to build a foundation 
Yeah, it has to be foundations. So you would have to build um, foundations all the way along here to block yourself off so that the ants couldn't attack you anymore or something. So in the moment the ants come, for example, through here. So we would have to make another foundation. <coughs> Actually, <coughs> excuse me, that doesn't even work. <coughs> excuse me. Because the ants um, can climb over things. It wouldn't even make sense if you think about it. Why would you build a wall? The ants can just climb up and over. It makes absolutely no sense. So, um, did they destroy my base though? Do I have to repair things? Oh, drag to rotate? What? Hang on a second, hang on a second, what? I don't know what that was. Was it the bed? No. What was the rotate about? Yeah, I don't know how that what, what that was there a second ago. So nothing to repair. Oh yeah, there we go. We have something to repair on the campfire. That's it. Nothing else. Oh, thank you. Hey, Todd, how are you? So we we don't have traps, which we don't really need, to be honest, uh, because you know, right here things are pretty easy to fight. Um, so we want to get prepared. So what we want to do is get loads and loads of arrows made as many as possible. So fire arrows obviously would be nice, but we don't have insect fur. A, a grasshopper sigh I want, but we need refined wood. And to make refined wood, we need to craft a... This. Oh, I have that. Hang on. Oh, I have that. Hang on. Where's screws? Bottle cups. <gasps> we can make it. We can make it. Yes. Oh, baby. Look at that. Oh, my God. I thought that was the only two things. A tannery. A covered bed. So we can actually now have a covered bed outside so we can sleep. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, my God. I thought that was it. Like these couple of things because we, we this goes into early access. A wooden chest, refined wood, a cauldron, a heated stone pot over blazing fire to cook hearty meals. Oh, apotheosis, ap 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 what's... Apothecary, apothecary table. Jesus, I could not see that word was that. Apothecary table. Um, so we need refined wood, and refined wood is made here. So if we go here, oh, look, a stone spear seed oil flint hatchet flint spear flint oh my god that is insane i wonder i wonder if we then start getting different versions of buildings uh, maybe not straight away in early access but this now means you can do refined wood you can do refined stone so that opens up the possibility of having a complete different uh, set of foundations and building materials you can use oh man that is that is so sweet yeah i really hope they're gonna add more a stone hammer a smashing tool for bluntly <laughs> look at the description a smashing tool for bluntly ending a confrontation i need one of those in my car okay so we need seed oil for refined wood seed oil we need seeds where do we get seeds from Oh my lord, wait until I have my my spear, you little bastard. Oh man, this is sexy time. A flint hatchet. We need flint. I don't know where we get flint from. That is insane. So yeah, obviously we only explored a tiny bit of the island, yeah? Um, we found some wasps, some bull ants, spiders, um, which we haven't actually killed yet. We should probably try to kill a spider at some point. 
um, with our arrows just to see the resources it drops because spiders are furry so I wonder if insect fur comes from spiders let's see if we can craft some arrows and test that out uh, wooden arrows we can make 10 20 30 30 should be enough yeah let's head over to the spiders oh resources have resources have uh, regrown nice in your face the forest um. <laughs> ah, okay okay you want to play you want to play There you go, ninja reflexes, ninja reflexes, baby. We have room in our inventory, yes. Okay, so let's, um, actually in case we die, let's let's bring very little, let's leave a lot of stuff here in our chest. Um, the one thing I wish there was is a sword option, unless there is a sword, hello, is there? No, there's not a sword option, so uh, it would be nice to have a sword here. Um, but let's just take all of that. Yeah, and just. Um, okay. Anyway, that's enough. Yeah, so we don't lose too much. eat something eat a little bit more good so the spiders were just up here I think to the left were they up here to the left? I think so oh they were actually further out And maybe there's a smelter later. Yeah, so this is way more uh, intrinsic than I thought. Oh, jeez, you guys are amazing. I just noticed we have 123 likes. That's really awesome. Thank you so much. If you're actually enjoying it, uh, leave a like if you haven't. And if you're on the way out, if you wouldn't mind, that would be very much appreciated to make sure the YouTube algorithms share the content. Here's the spiders. Okay, so I'm assuming they're going to be poisonous. They're not aggressive, but well, they probably will be now. Very, a lot of health. I wonder what it's like to fight one of those. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, they do a, a poison cloud. Holy crap. Oh no, I have no arrows equipped. This is terrible. This is terrible. Hang on. Okay, let's go. Okay, we need to equip the arrows. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, here. I forgot about that. Is the damage remembered though? Oh, shit. Oh, how much? No, that's a full health spider. That's our spider.
So where's our spider friend? Because I like I like I like that the health is remembered. No, he's the full health one. We don't want him. No, uh, he's a little. Oh, maybe he's healing back up. This is another one. Ah, screwed. Oh, I want to see how much damage we do if we... Such a reach. Okay, what do we have? Insect fat, yes, insect fur. There you go, spider stew we can make now in the cauldron. I used all my healing, which is only fiber, which is fine. That was awesome. So, um, we actually got um, insect fur and insect fat. So the insect fur does come from um, the spiders, which is great. Um, if you pull up the map, does it tell that? Yeah, it, it. Well, I don't actually know. Is this correct? It's just going into evening. Yeah, sorry. If this is moving. Yeah, it's moving. Yeah. It's going into into evening. So this is pretty awesome. So let's go back home and. It's raining now. Nice. Have a bit of food. That was something else. So now let's make some more bandages. Yeah, six. Let's do one more heal. Awesome. So now the things that needed uh, insect fur, I don't know. There, fire arrow, for example, needed insect fur. So I wouldn't go chasing spiders just now. I think our weapons are way too primitive. And what we need to focus on now is, um, oh, we can actually go to sleep now. You fall into a deep slumber. And you only lose a, little, lose a little bit of nutrition. And you're right there at the break of the morning. This is awesome. Guys, I'm going to have to leave this stream here because I'm going to have to go and uh, pick up my daughter now. But um, yeah, this is really so far a hell of a lot of fun. And I can see myself, if this is already what you get in early access, this game feels already very smooth, very... Um, very much uh, um, like a proper game. It doesn't feel like it's just been thrown together in five minutes. It feels like a lot of love and work has been gone into this game. Even the art style is very nice. Um, it's like a, a thematic art style. You don't see a lot of different art styles just thrown in. There has been a lot of work gone into this. You can definitely tell that. Yeah. And um, it's coming out on the 29th of March. And again, for people who are interested in multiplayer, you can play this locally, this game. 
um, but you are making a server and um, then it's up to you to like it's a local server on your machine that you play as yeah and it's saving everything local but you can then share the password of your server with up to 10 people so you can play with up to 10 people uh, multiplayer on on your shared instance yeah um, it's it's great so I haven't tried obviously multiplayer but there have been a couple of people who have been streaming with with multiplayer so check that out definitely for stability and to see what it looks like and and this is really so far looking like a lot of fun I'm not even worried about completing the story at this point I just want to mess around with the resources and the things we can craft and this is what I like about these games when they have a narrative that you can follow but you're not really in a big rush, you know? Like Hogwarts, it forced you kind of a little bit along the path, but that was because it was mainly story, yeah? But uh, this one is so far striking a really nice balance, I have to say. So anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. If you could leave a like on the way out if you haven't already, I would appreciate it. If you already have, you're an absolute star. Thank you so much. And um, thank you for hanging out with me tonight with Smallland. And i see you guys tomorrow, probably. And have a good night and stay safe. Bye-bye.